Welcome to week 46 of the Happy Stitch Project. I'm going to use this red thread this week, just three strands as usual, tie a knot in the end. And this week we are learning sheaf stitch. <laughs> Try saying that without your teeth in. Some people call it wheat stitch. Um, it's one of those with two names. So I'm going to start by stitching three vertical straight stitches. And they're quite long, just over a centimetre, centimetre and a bit. Doesn't matter, just have a little experiment with uh, lengths when you do this. And try and make sure that they're nice and evenly spaced. So it's fairly quick to do that first bit. Now, the next bit, what we need to do is um, come up through the fabric um, in the middle of, at the edge of one of the stitches. So it can be a little bit fiddly because you need to make sure that you don't catch the stitch. But once you've done it a couple of times, it'll be fine. Now, what I'm going to do without passing through the fabric, I'm just going to um, pop my needle through there. And then... I'm just going to put it back through the fabric. So it's like we're tying those stitches together, like basically um, a wheat sheaf, essentially. <laughs> but it looks really cute, doesn't it? I think they look like little sweets. <laughs> um, they're just really nice. Um, you'd be able to use them for all kinds of things. You could do them in a border pattern. You could use them as a sort of filling decorative stitch. Um, all kinds of things. It might look nice like little sprinkles. Um, and with some festive stitching coming up, they kind of look a little bit a little bit festive. They go nicely with those um, ermine stitches. I know how to pronounce it now. Thanks to Pam. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. <laughs> um, Ermine-like pin is how she told me to uh, pronounce it. So that's really helpful. Anyway, I think they go really nicely. Um, just a lovely, lovely effect and nice to play with. You could do it different colours if you if you wanted to. You could do like a, an ombre effect or just different colours. You could do it with a bit of sparkle in there. Um, I think that'd be really nice. So it's a lovely one to just have a, a play around with and a nice easy one this week. Um, so there we go. That is Sheaf Stitch. Let me know how you get on. Music